Welcome to a nearly new day in Imperium Galactic Survival. You can see the sun's just coming up. And what I want to do in this part is I want to go and move my base up to roughly around this area. And I'm liking this peninsula here because it's close to Xerax. We've got some crash titans up here, which I'm going to need for the next phase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a, a marker there so that I know where we're going. But before that, I just want to talk about a couple of things. And I want to start by saying a big thank you for your comments and feedback, especially to Mike Me, who has in some ways changed the course of this series. What Mike Me actually did is he posted a comment talking about the, the need to be more mobile in to do this scenario. And I agree with him completely. This is one of the reasons why I don't want to commit to building a very elaborate base, but a little bit more about that in a minute. And what he suggested was the Wayfarer ST by Jay Randall and I actually hadn't even noticed this in the workshop so I I did take a good look at it and of course if again I want to emphasize this I know I've said this before if you're new to the game and you're trying to choose a ship or something that you're going to spawn into a normal let's play always check it out in creative mode before you spend those key resources and the ship that might be recommended was the Wayfarer ST and this ship has been completely upgraded for CPU compliance because that's one of the problems I found. I found a lot of really good looking capital vessels, but they either required large amounts of specialist resources like the Cosium and, and Esterim, which I don't have a lot of at the moment. And I didn't really want to have to go out and build an SV that was more capable to go and find it. And this ship is a good compromise and it's got everything you need in it to get started it's got an advanced constructor it's got a good carry capacity and more importantly there's space in there to do the upgrades like there's an area where you can actually put a shield generator in it so not only is it a good starter ship it's also one that you can actually then grow into there's plenty of spaces there i mean the fun element's going to be the fact that it's these 36 steel grow plots but that won't be a problem because what we're going to be doing if I go back to bases here and we come back to the where's which base is it the modular one this one I think if we go to the factory you will see now that this is the base I'm going to deploy it's not a very substantial base you can see it's mainly made out of carbon substrate but it's very low cost it means I don't have to spend any of my key resources on getting it set up and so this is the one we're going to go for and you can see the production time is one second the reason for that is that most of the what i've dropped into here has been components and again if anyone is new to the game if you put ingots in you you get the full production time if you start put components in every component reduces your production time so there's a lot to be said for just dropping in as many components and going around and looting we're just going to kick that off there now before we leave this there's one other thing i want to show you and what I want to show you is this here, the Corvette uh, Forge Sky Fortress. Now this was a very top contender until I actually spawned it in creative mode. And inside it, there's an LED where the creator, apologies, I can't remember who the creator is, made it very clear that this ship relies on aerodynamics. It doesn't have a lot of thrusters, which makes it a very cheap, cost-effective ship for exploring a large planet and being able to knock down POIs. So we probably will be building this later on, but what I want to do is explore the concept of whether this could actually dock on top of the Wayfarer. But that's something we're going to be looking at in the future. But in space, this ship is very weak, and I actually took it up into space and do it. And one thing I found was that once you got it going, it's very difficult to stop. So be aware that it's not very good in space. And as the creator listed in on the LED, that if you go to a moon which is airless, therefore the aerodynamics don't work. It's pretty terrible, actually. I did give it a go, and he was quite right to mention that. So what I want to do now, we've made the base, and what I want to do is jump into here. Actually, before we leave, I think I need to do some repairs because I've got a damaged thruster somewhere. And I'm just going to... Yeah. I noticed that when I was doing some checking before I started recording and and if you watch the previous part where I went up to here 
and took out the abandoned drone base. I came back with this ship fully loaded with the intention of unloading it but what I'm actually going to do now is we're going to fly north with the ship fully loaded because it just seemed a bit pointless to unload it and then reload it with other supplies and of course it's going to take me a little bit of time to move what I've got down in that polar area up to the new base once I've got it set up and of course it's going to take me a little while to get the five, five, five kilometers to where I want to build the new base so but before I actually cut the video I just want to talk about one thing say a big thank you for your comments and feedbacks especially the, the, the few of you who reminded me that I didn't completely loot out the drone base and the main reason for that is that this ship doesn't have a ca carry capacity and what I've looked at is maybe revitalizing the loot lift of 300 which I was using in the previous series but it's it's a little bit overpowered and and it would actually be a tier three what I'm hoping is that the new capital vessel will act as my um, fetch and carry ship if not we're just gonna have to look at finding uh, an SV with a carry capacity anyway I think that's about what I want to do it and I'll see you once I actually get up to the new marker here we are we're approaching the new marker I was hoping it would be daylight before we when we arrived here so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna See if we can find somewhere to land about here. I'm just going to land here and I'm going to turn the thrusters off and jump out, turn the light on because it's absolutely pitch black. And I seem to be, and what we're going to do is we're just going to deploy the tent and it's going to. So that we can actually do this in daylight because the base does have a very big footprint and therefore it's going to be quite difficult to do this if I haven't got good visibility I'm just going to jump straight back in the ship because I need to find a relatively flat area I'm just going to turn the thrusters back on and of course we have to jump out jump back in again I really hope they fix that bug relatively quickly What I'm looking for is a reasonable flat area and I really wish I had the drill because the survival tool isn't really suited for leveling. I mean, we've got a bit of a flat area here. Actually I quite like the... I wasn't far out actually. I like this area here because we're close to the Xerax. we got the Crash Titans up there. We're close to the Talon and we should be able to strike out. This area here is a bit too rough. I flew over this on the way up and and it's just not really. I actually like maybe that area there. Now it's always pretty difficult to tell what something looks like from above. So we're going to have to drop down here. And if we land about here, maybe back a bit. Oh great. Boys, you are if you're gonna be hanging around here, you're gonna have to where are you? Wait. you have a buddy or you just on your own now that's a potential problem in the sense that if these guys are going to be hanging around all the time it means they were near their spawn point which I make there there he is there's another one of them eight 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 eight, eight, eight. yeah this is something you bear need to bear in mind when you actually Put a base out that uh, yeah. The other thing I also want to show you is this. Uh, no problem. I have to come in here to show it to you. See the knockdown with this? 2780 with this epic sniper rifle. I mean that's that's gonna give me a one shot kill. And I think we're well, looking at this area here, so let's just grab this. See, this is one of the problems when you actually get on the ground it what looks so flat isn't necessarily flat 
and I'm not that happy about these guys being close so I think we're going to go this way a little bit and see what's up over here we'll take that I don't really like using natural stimulant but we may need it in the future what's that up over there if that's something like I can use for medicine that's going to make this area even better it's like there's some estrum or something over there as well oh no it's just um, let's just whoops get the survival tool in uh, rock resource oh the adibium I'll take it oops don't go away and um, I know I shouldn't be collecting resources we're meant to be looking for a new base location but I mean up here could be good Problem is, it's not flat. So, oh great! I've, I've got a feeling we're going to have to come down here. Because I want to be able to my. I mean, the the base has got two defensive turrets. So I would like those to be in a to be able to have a fairly reasonable open field of fire got another neodymium here as well uh, certainly don't want to destroy this by accidentally when I'm placing the base down um, apologies if my voice is a bit croaky I don't know what's up with me I, I wouldn't go so far as to say I've got a cold I think we're just gonna have to put up with the annoying raptors I think um, maybe let's just try this. Can I flatten this area off a little bit? So this isn't the best tool for this. Let's see what we can do with the, the ground here. Okay, I suppose there's only one way I'm going to find out, and that is to. Gonna need that. You can see where it digs up into the ground there. That's not gonna work. Okay, let's just go over this way a bit. I think we're just gonna have to try and put it over here. So maybe my first choice is probably the better location. Yeah, I think we can. It's going to be a bit high. It's going to be annoying. Maybe. I don't really want, in some ways, I'd rather have it slightly high. But there's always a risk that the ground will come up through the base. I think that's about the best we're going to get. So I suppose we better now have a little bit of a tour just to see if it's that side's okay. I can see daylight underneath the base. That's good. Now you can see this base is not particularly very strong because it's got that there. Okay. Now we're going to have incursions from these Yozos. Oops. We got a little bit of round incursion there, which is a little bit unfortunate. But as long as nothing's coming through the floor, I'd be happy. Yeah, it looks like we've got away with nothing through the floor. Okay, first things first, let's get some power in here. Um, uh, we'll put about 20 in to start with. We got base power there, logistics devices. Okay, cargo boxes. What have we got? I have looked at these, I just can't remember this. That one's 16,000, and I think most of them are 
16,000, I think it's the top two which are only 8,000. So I think if we call you on Structor in and I'm going to call you Constructor, not Constrictor, Constructor out. Next one, weapons, and for you, base supplies. Now, I'm a little bit worried about having some rare resources in here. Okay, logistics. Right, I think that's it. Uh, constructor, we need to connect this stuff up. I'm going to put constructor in here but more importantly at the moment i want ammo box here because we need to make some 30 millimeters so we need steel plates and nitro cellulose where's my ship is it in range it says it's 59 meters away oh it's in range so that's good uh modular outpost the structure in only want the steel plates, not just cellulose. Get that in there, and let's get what's that? Okay, it's that. <laughs> it's got the wrong constructor. Okay, large constructor. Um, weapons. I think we're gonna get. Uh, get those underway straight away and of course more importantly before it makes any ammunition where's the turrets uh, we're going to get rid of the I don't want it killing predators I don't want it wasting ammunition on that right next thing We've got a food processor here and we need to hook that up to the fridge that we can make things and again this just much out for bridge what we're gonna do is pull in we can pull in the ingredients we need now let's bring in about half of those um spices put some plant fibers in I uh, don't need the fruit drinks uh, we're certainly gonna put those in and um, I think everything out well, we'll put the purified water in and the milk and the fire moss scrapings and uh, we don't need that and we put the meat in and that in and the eggs because this is going to give us a wider range of food and in plasma and um, we need to get rid of all that stuff see what we can make straight away well, we can now make veggie burgers and sandwiches more importantly what can we do midwise so we still need confetti moss scrapings i don't think i can make confetti moss. see we need crushed stone mushroom and promethean pellets well i can put the promethean pellets in uh, so i think i've got promethean pellets in um okay what can i put about 70 of those in as well I don't think we've got any crushed stone at the moment and so what we can do now is we got this up and running so let's just empty the ship out it's only going to put that in uh, protect our ammunition that can go in the workshop that can go in um, I mean, I've obviously got more resources back where we go. Okay. Base supplies. Let's put some of this stuff in. Kind of don't want to put, give up too much in the way of resources here. The biofuel can go in there. We've got some more. I can go in the constructor. Wow, I'm going to be really glad to get this unloaded. 
got a couple of stuff there for the player. Okay, haha. Let's just flip this to. Right, we've got 630 ammunition straight away. Let's put this in here. Near more Alien Tooth. Got that there. Constructor. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit tedious, but you know, I just. What I really want to do at the moment is just kind of unload the. Um, I think that. We'll just put that in the player for the moment. Modular outpost. I want to keep some of the. Well, we don't need the water container, so that can go in. Um, we've got that there. We've got ammunition. Uh, silver shade. Of course, we're going to need to put some of this stuff into the. Actually, if I put this is in. And we just got some in as well. I can open up that. I mean, I will sort this out a little bit more efficiently later on, but there is a. Actually, I'm thinking about it. I'll put this up so. So, all the time we're at this base, we're going to have the, the lovely sound of alien uh, insects nearby. Now, there is an armor locker in this base somewhere. There is. Again, it's a little bit on the edge of the the base so uh, I think we'll put a jetpack boost in uh, I'm gonna keep one of the EVAs just in case because that's the one thing I don't want to lose alongside of the area there oh we've got an EVA boost in there silver shade out um, silver shade okay we've still got some more stuff to put into the Edge. That can go in there. I'm going to keep the armor and the silver shade. Um, structure in. We can put that in. We need to get rid of some of these weapons now as well. Where is it? Um, I want to keep that in the silver shade. Uh, we don't need them. This can go in. I've already got a tier two there. That needs to go in constructor. I want to keep that, keep that. That can go into the Yeah, I think that's now emptied that out. We've got the base set up. I'm feeling a little bit lighter. A single plant there. Um, EVA boost this is here yep I'm happy with that I've got a little bit of cash haven't I know oh, it's in the let's have a quick look in the silver shade I think it's in the fridge player and you can see where this is slightly raised. What I want to do is flip over to the Talon and see if we can find the merchant who will sell us some plants. So, no. Still got a damage thruster. I thought I'd fix that. Sorry, I've got to. Uh, 50. Okay, just. I thought I'd fixed everything. Oh, we still got that one missing from the front there. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. Let me just take off. And I've got to jump out anyway, so. Was it? Okay. I got damage thrusters underneath. That's 150, that's 150, that's 150. 
rear foster's a bit damaged. That one's okay, that one's okay. Right. Let me just get into. And I think what we need to end for is. It's if I head for the tall monument, we should be able to find the the Talon Trader. So let's just get over here. There's the monument, and the settlement should be just over the back here. I'm just going to drop down. Turn the thrusters off. Jump out. Um. Hello, guys. Um. That's the chief. This should be the trader. Um. And we got three hundred and eighty-five. One. I mean, the alien honey plant could be quite useful. Mushrooms, that's what I want. I want two mushrooms. Because that will help me make medicine. Space or aloe vera. Big alien flower. I mean, we could spice plant, eggplant, alien honey. I think I'm going to buy two alien honeys because that will allow me to make that uh, make uh, potions that can cure indigestion. Who prep perfing Ajax plants, cure berries? They could be quite useful because it means we can make fruit drinks. Coffee plants? Not interested in that. Big alien flower. I'm actually going to go for. Can I get two Akua berries? No. Okay. There's only one. Okay. What does this produce? This produces herbal leaves. I think we're going to go with. That's going to give us the plants. Thank you guys. And what we're going to do now is just go back to our base and get those planted up. And that should give me the basis of some medicines and um, some better range of, uh, can you say, foods. I'm just going to jump out again, back in again. Um, So we're going to have to go west, west, east. I think I'm going to need to tidy up the, my, uh, what we call it, there's my basis to set a uh, permanent marker there. And I'm just going to level off. I'm just going to fly back to the base. We are back at the base. I actually think that fits into the landscape quite well. Yeah, I'm just going to drop down. I'm not going to bother trying to land it on that pad. We're, we're going to be quite happy just to park the ship outside here. Just going to turn the thrusters off. Just going to jump out. And it looks like we're losing the daylight already. Now, which one of these has got the... Thank you. And of course, what we're going to do is pick up. I don't think I just quite need the weapons at the moment. And we're going to get a couple of mushrooms in the alien honey and the aloe vera. And put the mushrooms just there because they won't get in the way when I'm walking by. 
put the alien honey at the back. Of course, we're going to put the aloe vera there. Well, that gives me a strong foundation from that perspective. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we're going to start working on getting the resources for that capital vessel. I'm certainly going to be going back to the drone base to finish off looting over there. In fact, while I'm actually thinking about it, let me just put that there. Two, are we going to need to library? Where's Wayfarer ST factory? And um, we're just going to drop that in, get everything underway from that perspective. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.